Hey allies, we finally got the BIOS 330 from Asus and we've got a bit of a performance difference. There's a few other little differences as well. Pay particular attention to the contrast difference as well as that battery wattage. So I think that we actually have a decent update for a change. Looking at the 330 at 15 watts, you can see here in Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty we are still around the 25 frames per second mark. This is at 900p with our medium settings, which is exactly as it was before. So we'll go through each of the 15, 18 and 30 watts to have a look at the differences here. You see bouncing between 25 and 30, just about. But in some of the other sections, it does dip down while we're driving around. But if we look at 323, we'll see that we are in the lower 20s for the most part, but it does also come up to 30. But it does look a bit clearer on the 30 bias i'm not quite sure why that is and the battery is just slightly more usage on the 323 even at 15 watts as we move over to 18 watts sticking with 323 to start with we'll see especially as we're driving through the mid city we are dipping down to that 30 fps range and just under occasionally but again around 30 watts on the battery this is to be expected it's really heavy in these mid sections but 30 frames per second at 18 watts is pretty good we look at the same on 330 with a few lag spikes we do dip under the 20s 18 watts does seem to be less performant or at least around the same performance as it was on 323 but again that battery wattage is about one and a half watts less but it's definitely a bit more efficient you may notice that the 330 bias is a little bit lighter in the contrast though i'm not quite sure why this is it does seem to be globally it must have tweaked Few settings here and there but what i do like is that at the 30 watt mode you'll see here again 30 watts on 323 we're struggling around the 30 frames per second mark especially during combat in vehicles and driving through the center of town that's well, not always fully utilizing that 30 watts mode but as we come over to the 330 bias you'll see that we actually sit in the mid to high 30s even with a lot more combat going on and also in the center of the town as well so definitely seems to be slightly more performant on the 330 bias at least in cyberpunk 2077 temperatures do seem to sit a little bit higher i think they've changed the fan curves once again and the contrast you'll have to fiddle around with in games because it definitely is higher on the 330 bias than it is in than it was in the 323 bias but overall 330 bias on cyberpunk 2077 especially at 30 watts is definitely a lot smoother and feels much better as well we see this a lot more in starfield if you look at 18 watts we actually see a significant difference here although this has been patched with the field of view change as well that skews the results slightly but it does seem to be a lot smoother so with the 330 bias on the left and the 323 on the right both at 18 watts again we'll see that battery usage just slightly lower on the 330 bias temperature around the same or a little bit higher the frames per second definitely seems to be a little bit better not only that i do find that the micro stutter seems to be far less on the 330 bias especially in starfield this was really noticeable but again there's something different with the contrast i don't remember having the 323 shader patch installed when i was doing the original tests but it does look like maybe i had the no shaders mod on here so the fact that 330 is actually performing the same if not better without any of the mods definitely is a testament to the latest updates this really becomes apparent when we put them side by side with this npc although you will see that more with the field of view change i think but the contrast difference is just absolutely insane but again i think maybe there is some shaders missing on the previous version but there definitely is just that overall glow anyway not to mention i think the field of view change has made things look a little bit wider in starfield generally so it does skew it a little bit if i balance the contrast ratio what you'll notice is i do feel like the 330 bias just makes things look a lot clearer overall if we go into space we'll see this much more obviously and we'll find that the 330 bias just sits a little bit better on that frames per second once again so no matter what power mode you're going to be running this at 330 definitely seems to give a little bit extra bonus and bring that battery wattage down very slightly so maybe we'll get slightly better battery life overall as we finish looking at 330 and 323 side by side on starfield you definitely see that fps difference 
as well as the graphics quality difference overall. Let's know what games you've tried on BIOS 330 and whether you are seeing similar results to us. And you'll be glad to hear that FC24 is now running as well with this BIOS. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.